The trends that I see in mobile payments in 2014 are diversification, not only be focusing on uh, proximity payments, but also moving more towards remote payment capability. I also see security as a, a huge trend in the industry, whereas in the past, maybe it was accepted to just go with uh, normal web checkout security. Now, the industry is understanding that mobile payments is different than web checkout, and there has to be a whole new way of taking care of the secure layer in mobile payments. I think Bluetooth Low Energy is the new big thing this year. Um, this is something that retailers wanted for a long time, I think, because being able to determine a customer's proximity to a store or to a product within a store was always something retailers wanted. And now this is available through Bluetooth Low Energy. Of course, uh, technology providers like Selum still need to look more deeply and investigate the purchasing scenarios where BLE can be used well. We analyzed uh, many areas, uh, many geographical uh, areas of the globe, and we see that uh, Southeast Asia, or Asia itself, has, um, has a huge growth potential these years. While in Europe we are talking about few percentage of growth uh, year on year, economic growth I'm uh, talking about. In Asia this is usually around 5 to 10 percent. We have to believe in the future, but we have to learn from the past. We need to see what happened with NFC. NFC has clearly failed to take off because of the lack of real customer benefit that NFC technology can add on the top of regular payment instruments. But we also need to admit that the fragmented and insular um, remote wallets have also failed to take off because of the lack of interoperability, the lack of mass acceptance. What I see is that people are using smartphones for communication, for data, for entertainment, and it's only logical that the next step will be that they want to use it for payments and purchasing.